As you've already studied, there are several ways to customize the AutoCAD program interface to make your drafting work more practical. So in this class, you'll study about some other program resources, tool palettes to facilitate your design work. This resource is accessed on the Palettes panel, the View tab. You can use the tool palettes to organize the most commonly used blocks, previously configured hatch pattern layers, as well as inserting the most used tools. As you have already studied, AutoCAD provides several palettes with selectable materials for 3D models and even blocks. But you can also create new palettes whenever the need arises. Just right click the mouse on an existing palette and select the new palette option on the new displayed menu. After that, input the name for the new palette. After the palette is created, you can customize it. Right click the mouse inside the palette and then select the Customize Commands option to open the Quick CUI panel. And then you can insert the most commonly used commands for your drawing. You can also create palettes with blocks using the Design Center. Open the Design Center and browse the existing files until you find the desired blocks for the palette. Right click the mouse on the command and select the Create Tool Palette option. Automatically, a new palette will be generated with the name of the selected file which contains all the existing blocks within it. See how there are two palettes now, one is for commands and the other for blocks. So now let's create a new palette with hatch patterns from previously configured layers. Use the hatch patterns from a drawing to add hatches to the new open palette. Select the hatch and then drag it into the palette. Notice that you can see the displayed thumbnail. Up to now, we have created several customized palettes, but how can you find them among so many other palettes? You can create a group of customized palettes to solve this problem. Just right click the mouse on the palettes and select the Customize Palettes option. There will be a list of all available palettes and palettes groups on the new screen. So now let's create a new group by right clicking and selecting New Group. Input a name for the group and press Enter to confirm. Now drag the created palettes inside the new grouping. Finally close the dialog box. You can create palette groups from customized commands, hatches and blocks based on design and drawing types. 
Now right click the mouse on the palette title bar to select the group which contains customized palettes. So in this class you have studied how to create customized palettes with commands, hatches and blocks to facilitate your design and drawing tasks.